Hey guys. No wonder I ain't got no views. I'm on my way. Anyways, hey guys. I'm just out doing a little bit of guitar shopping at some pawn shops. Uh, let's see. I'm at oh, Palsa County Pond. Uh, they usually have pretty good selection of guitars. They probably won't let me film in there. As pawn shop usually don't like you filming around. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna pop in there, see what I can see, and then uh, we'll probably go to a couple other places, maybe even an actual guitar shop or two. Uh, yeah, just out guitar shopping, and as you can see, and it's rainy. Yeah, shit, it's kind of cold. What is it? Like 48 degrees. By the way, I'm listening to Pantera. Oh. Um, so, uh, I kind of feel like crap today. Then, yesterday, I was just like throwing up everywhere. I don't know what I got into or what I ate. But, oh well. So, today I'm just trying to run around, look at guitars and stuff, and see what I can see. Alright, uh, I'll be back. Well, I didn't see anything in there. Too, uh, uh, too appealing. He's got a lot of Jacksons in there, but uh, I'm not really that much on Jacksons. Uh, they look nice, but um, I'm more into like the BC Rich type. He had some uh, Schecters in there. Uh, some really nice, nice acoustic. Guitars. Uh, this is kind of the place that uh, a lot of the guys in Tulsa who got equipment they want to pawn and get rid of, they usually come here. You know, uh, they used to have a shop over on uh, like closer into downtown, but the old uh, the uh, owner passed away and they, they never renewed the lease. That place was full of a lot of music and music. I know a lot of a lot of bands used to go in there with their equipment and you know, pawn their old equipment, get new newer equipment. But, oh well, let's go on to the next one and see. And uh, maybe they'll let us film in there, you know, you never know. But uh probably not. So Anyways, uh, see you guys back in a little bit. On to the next one. Hey, uh, let's see. Um, here is Cash America. Let's see if we're around here. Cash America Pond. Uh, I'm gonna see uh, what they got in there. They haven't had a lot lately. Uh, tax time and everything is kind of gone. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, we'll go on here and see what they got. I don't know. Uh, see you in a minute. Well, hey, didn't have much at all. Uh, so, get on to the next one. Uh, it is nasty out here. Kind of raining. Ah. Anyways, okay, on to the next one. Hey, uh, okay, now we're here at TZ Pond in uh, a shady part of town, which is funny because I work over here in this area, so, yeah, uh, shady. Oh, Easy Pond, yeah, uh, we're all running inside and see what they got. Maybe they got some cool stuff, you never know. Oh well, in a minute. Well, nothing really in there. Interesting, there was an eight string Schecter in there. Real nice one, you know, with the abalone and all that on it. And it was a hundred bucks. I was like, you can't be, you gotta be kidding me, a hundred bucks? I have the guy take it off the wall, hands it to me. Beautiful on the front, you know, the finish and everything. 
flip it over, someone stuck a bunch of stickers on there and went at it with a sander. It looked like they were trying to reshape the back, you know, the heel right there. Plus the heel joint was cracked. And then I flipped it back over to further inspect it and I got to looking at the neck and they had scalloped the fretboard themselves taking going right through the abalone inlays you know basically everything that would have made this guitar really beautiful they just totally destroyed I don't know uh, so uh, it's just, that just blew my mind it was like it was, if it hadn't been like that it would have been like a $900 guitar but literally it's worthless now I mean it's still you could probably swap still parts out of it to uh, dress up another guitar but I don't know anyways on to the next one all right uh, this one's guaranteed to have some guitars in there that are going to be really expensive guitars Gibson, Fender, like vintage stuff. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, it's a place here in Tulsa called the Car House of Tulsa. And yeah, Guitar House of Tulsa. And uh, it's basically, if you want the vintage, if you want the bad rock, if you want the cream of the crop of guitars is in here. You're not gonna find any ESPs or any, you know, heavy metal type. I mean, they may have like one or two stuff they just got in on trades or something, but everything in here is like Gibson, Fender. Uh, there's a couple other brands in here I've never heard of, but are like, I guess, boutique guitars. Uh, Anyways, I guess you're gonna have to take my word on it because I know these guys are going to film on it. Anyways, uh, back in a little bit. Well, they have a lot of nice stuff in there, a lot of expensive stuff. Uh, I had a Dave Mustang Signature Series V from uh, Gibson in there, that was nice. Uh, there's a uh, one brand in there yeah, called Zon Z O N. I'm gonna have to look up. Got some, some really nice looking guitars, but I've never seen them before. So, but I ain't got that kind of money for in there. A lot of uh. That's some a lot of vintage pedals in there too. But oh, I really, I'm really mostly into like yeah, the old DOD like death metal and boss pedals. Mostly anything that's specifically for you know metal distortion pedals. I don't know, it's, that's just kind of my kink, I guess. Anyways, let's, uh, I'll probably have one more and I'm going to head home. Getting tired. Alright. Hey, well, here we are at another Cash America. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. This sometimes has some pretty good stuff in it. Uh... Anyways, let's go check it out. Hey, everybody. Ah, different day, different shave. Cool new hat. Hey, fear not. Go check those guys out. Uh, they're on uh, They're on Spotify. Anyways, I got $300. And I'm going to go try to find the pointiest guitar. The pointiest 
guitar I can get for $300. Uh, let's go on a journey. Hey, how you doing? Here at uh, Fire Brothers, or Fiery Music. Used to be called Fire Brothers. Anyways, let's go in here and see what they got. Uh, I'll ask them if I can film in there. Usually not. So if you don't see anything from in there, they probably say no. All right. Well, that was kind of a bust. No pointy guitars at all. Uh, plenty of like little fenders and bluegrass stuff. I guess pointy guitars aren't their thing here. Oh well. Let's go see. Uh, let's find another place. Oh well. I will find something. Hello. Well, we're at Whitey's Pond. Uh, we're gonna see what we can find in there. Uh, see you back in a little bit. Well, that was another bust. Had a couple of cool amplifiers in there. Ah, uh, but uh, no real pointy guitars. Uh, had one. It was a Dean Razor pack. Uh, uh, time signature one, but uh, they went away too much money for it, like five, six hundred dollars. I was like, ah, pointy guitar for three hundred, not six hundred. All right, see you in a little bit, guys. All right, there's second hand Rose Pawn Shop. They used to have a lot of really nice stuff in here, but uh. Second hand rows. But anyways, uh another routine. I'll ask, they'll probably say no. I ain't gonna push it. Uh but anyways, let's go in there so we can find for three hundred dollars. Twentieth guitar for three hundred dollars. Well, nothing really in there either. Got some old got an old carbon amplifier. Uh which seemed pretty cool. Um Old, really old crate guitar amplifiers. Look, like they've been in there since the 90s. Like, not out, they came out in the 90s, but they've been in there since the 90s. Oh well. Uh, off to another place. Alright, we're at another place. Uh, back on an easy pond. Do easy pond. Yeah, there's like four or five of them in the city. Yeah, but anyways. I'm going to pop in here, see what they got. Uh, a side note. Can you see that guy's bike? Oh my god, purple with like reddish orange flames. That's pretty badass. Anyways, uh, well, I'm going to pop in here see what they got. Hey, I was just in uh, the Easy Pond. Took a little quick, sneaky snippet of an Epiphone Special 2 with like a skull graphic, and it had like an anarchy thing up there. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna look that up. But uh, it's pretty cool. It was only $166, so it may be back. All right, later on. Hey, okay. Back on another easy pawn. Like I said, there's like four or five of them, even probably more. In uh, Tulsa. I don't know what that says about us, but that's a lot of easy pawns. Anyways, let's run in here, take a check, take and see what they got. Not holding out much hope. It's getting kind of later in the day. Wife's already home. Already pretty pissed at me. Uh, you know, for just being out guitar shopping. Yeah, but anyways, what can you do? All right, in a minute, guys. Well, guys, we may have something here. You gotta look at the price. Oh, look, you would get. Here, let me show you what I'm Obviously, they got some cool stuff here. I mean, it's just... 
this is the one. 195. 195. And then we got a Jackson behind it. Oh, it's got the uh, cheapy. It's got the cheapy bridge. It's a nice Jackson, though. This is what we're after. Twenty to BC Rich. One ninety five. All right, let's uh, shop it maybe over. Uh, have a look at what all they got here. Yeah, I guess it's not bad. It's a G10. What is this? Steel? Ooh. Series This Paul special LTD. Ah, I think we're gonna get this one. It's kind of our thing. All right, let me get this paid for and get out of here. Or find something else. Hey, all right. Oh, let's see. Can I get it? There it is. Oh, just $195 and taxes $211. BC Rich Carry King Warlock. It is a Carry King Warlock. It's got the little, it's got the little. Dress rod cover that says Carrie King Warlock. I have another one, but the dress rod doesn't say Carrie King Warlock. It doesn't have the KKW. So this one does. So I got a Carrie King for $211. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's been a couple days. Got just I uh, got a chance to film. Anyways, this is the guitar I bought for under $300. The pointiest guitar I could buy under $300. And over here is another one. This one I had purchased earlier. You've seen in previous videos on the wall. But anyways, almost, almost identical. Now, uh, this one, of course, see here, this is the one that we bought for it was under $300. It's got some chips, some scuffs. Uh, I get anything. Yeah, got some chips. You know, it's mostly right here. I guess, you know, you put it down, lean it up against something. You know, it gets chipped. It gets the crack. This one, it's a good angle on the points. Most pristine. I mean, it is really nice. Almost exactly the same. You know, BC Rich pickups. It's got the uh, string through. You know, same here. Same here. 24 frets. 24 frets. This fingerboard looks just a little bit they both need to be hydrated. Anyways, I'll have to take it down all its way up here. This one just says BC Rich. You know what the warlock? It just says warlock. Now 
this one, the cheap one I purchased, has KKW. And from my understanding, that means Kerry King. You know, this is like his tribal pattern. This is obviously the cheaper version of his signature guitar, but it was patterned after his signature guitar. And, uh, well, they put the KKW on there. I guess I'm just thinking. I'm not for sure. I haven't looked it up. But I guess the KKW was the Kerry King Warlock. I may be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll admit it. Uh, correct me in the comments. Anyways, this is just, I'm just adding this on to the tail end of the pointy guitar for under 300 bucks video. Uh, so, this is just kind of an ending. Kind of pop it in here. Anyways, uh, other than the scratches and the dings, actually is a pretty good looking guitar. Uh, not a lot of corrosion on either one of them. Really good looking knobs, really clean looking. I've yet to plug them in and play either of them. They've just kind of been some decoration, or at least most of them have. This one, that was the pawn shop, uh, pawn shop lock we did the pickups on. See my ring light there. Yay! On the scenes. And then, here's another. I guess someone said it was like Warlock Jr.? Oh yeah, it's bronze. And then I got another bronze one, but this one's got the two pickups. And there's my green one. I just moved it over. And then my base. I don't know, just something about the Warlock design. But, 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 uh, kind of view behind me here, but I'm just not into the Warlock design. I also have another design, which I will bring out shortly. Uh, it too is a pointy one. I do like pointy guitars. They're my favorite. Uh, but anyways, so, uh, so uh, that's going to be coming up. So stay tuned. I know I haven't been doing my videos that often, but I'll try to be better. Uh, it just gets busy, life and work and, you know. Uh, maybe if I get enough subscribers, I can uh, start doing a Patreon account, you know. And then uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I might be able to get someone to sponsor me. But anyways... Oh, man. Anyways, uh, also, I'm also looking into updating my recording situation. Because right now, I just use my cell phone. And, you know, I got a ring light I got from Walmart for like 30, 40 bucks. Anyways, uh, I'm looking to upgrade, maybe getting an iPad. It's not a promise, but looking into purchasing an iPad uh, with, you know, obviously I want to do recording music also, you know, I want to set up a studio, oh wait, there's a crate, kind of a ADD break, look at my crate, voodoo, blue voodoo, 120 head. Uh, not a matching cabinet, but it's still a crate. There's my Boss Katana 100. I don't get to play them enough. This one, I'm kind of scared to play because I'm kind of in a small room here. I really don't want to crank that up too loud. But, recently had a guy here in Tulsa go through... Resolder everything. He checked for lit cracks in the solder, and you know, make sure the tubes were still good, and you know, just kind of fixed it up. You know, just kind of went through, did some maintenance on it, and he says it's doing great. Uh, I've yet to plug it in. I want to do a video on that. 
uh, sometime. <laughs> Don't give me a line to you guys. But I do want to do one on it. You know, just getting a good metal tone. Probably will not be that hard to get a metal tone on that. Anyways, more to come. Uh, possible upgrade on editing and video quality. Maybe even sound quality. Uh, really wanting to get into doing this, but I just don't want to spend a ton of money getting into something. So, anyways, although I've spent <laughs> a lot of money here just buying and stuff. Anyways, alright, rambled on enough. Uh, love you guys. Like, subscribe, share with a friend. Say, hey, check out this dude with more money than brains. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, see you guys uh, on the green.